Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Tishon here and I'm back with another video. And this is for the pharmacist's daughter and this was a pre-order that I had placed on July 22nd. I received it on September 2nd. So let's get started. Um, so of course I got a um, thank you uh, card here and it says thank you for shopping small and supporting a big dream. The uh, next restock is to be determined, and this is a picture of Ansley and Kim, the owners of the pharmacist's daughter. And then this is their information on the back, and I will list all of this information in the down bar below. Um, I do have three samples here. So this one is blood curdling, and this one is coffee house, Celtic moon spice white cake, and sweet and creamy. And you definitely get the coffee house. That spiciness from the um, Celtic Moon Spice. It's very sweet, creamy. I'm not picking up any white cake right now. That coffee is really coming through. This is really delicious, though. And that's what that one looks like. Then we have Witching Hour. And this is Blackberry, Marshmallow Fluff, and Palo Santo. Mmm, this smells really good. I pick up the Palo Santo. The Blackberry. And it's slightly creamy from the marshmallow fluff. This smells really good. That blackberry is really coming through, very nice. And it's blending really well with the Palo Santo. And then this one is Folly Beach. And this is Salty Sea Air, Avo Bath, and cotton candy. I definitely get the salty sea air. And the avo bath is coming through. Nice citrusy blend. And then you have that sweetness from the cotton candy. So it's sweet, salty, citrusy. Mmm, that smells really good. I will definitely be looking out for this one to come back around. And that's that. Um, this order, I only just got a few souffles. Um, I didn't do a big order and... Um, like I normally would. But um, I've been really kind kind of to have control over the um, my orders when it comes to how much I'm getting. Because, you know, there's only so much storage you can have. And I refuse to buy more storage. And so my thing is work through what you have to make room in the storage that you already have so that you don't have to spend more money on storage. Because my husband is like, really more storage again more wax more storage so you know those are the conversations we have in our household lately <laughs> but um so I figured let me just melt through what I have and you know get stuff here and there so this was a, a smallish haul for me and um this one is freshly baked and it says coffee house pie crust zucchini bread and funnel cake
Give me one second, guys. Never fails. She always wakes up when I'm filming. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Um, so let me hurry up to get through this. Um, so, okay. So, you definitely get coffee. I pick up some of that pie crust. I do get some of the zucchini bread. And I'm not picking up funnel cake. I'm getting more of the, uh, the pie crust and the zucchini bread right now with the coffee house. So we'll see how this is on warm. And then you figure these were just poured. Um, th well, this one was just poured 827. So it's still needs some cure time. But it does smell delicious. I do like this. I've had this in a sample before and I believe I already had this in my stash already. So I do enjoy this blend. And then this one is beans and cream. And this is coffee house, marshmallow, sweet and creamy, coconut shortbread cookies. I love this one as well. And again, you get the coffee house. You get that coffee blend. It's sweet. It's creamy. And I do pick up some of that coconut shortbread cookie. Mm, that's really good. It's very delicious. And that's what that one looks like. Oh, sorry guys. And tilted the camera. Um, and then I have lemon drop, which I love. I already have this in a loaf. Um, this scent is just so good. It's lemon curd, lemon sugar, marshmallow fluff, and sugar waffle cone. It's so, so delicious. Mmm. Like, immediately, I get all the lemon goodness. It's creamy from the marshmallow fluff. It's sweet. I get a hint of waffle cone. Mmm, but that lemon, oh, it's so bright, fresh, tart. But then you got that sweetness that balances it, balance it out. This one is delicious. I will always get this one whenever it's offered. Then we have Shiver, and this is Icy Peppermint and Ezra. And Ezra is an Abercrombie. Amber Combry and Fitch um, fragrance. And it's lavender, fresh bergamot, sexy leather accords, and it has musk and sandalwood. I used to buy my husband's shirts from there, but um, I never got their like fragrances or anything like that. And this smells really good. It's slightly masculine. And then you have that peppermint. Oh, wow, this is really good. Like, as I'm smelling this, I can feel the peppermint going down, like, in my throat. Like, literally, like, I just popped in a peppermint. Oh, wow. This smells so good. I can't wait to warm this.
And then I have um, King Cake. And I also have this in the loaf as well. I got this in the first pre-order um, that they ever did. So I do have a loaf. And this is Coffee House Morning Beignet, French Custard, Sugar Cookie Dough, Cinnamon Sugar Donut. And this one is so good. Like, I can immediately smell like that fried dough from the donuts and the beignets. And if you've ever been to New Orleans um, and you went to, if you go to Cafe Dumont, they have the best beignets and coffee ever. Like, um, that is a must have to, you know, visit if you ever take a trip there. I know right now they are recovering from the hurricane. So, um, but if you ever get a chance to go there, definitely make your way to Cafe Dumont. Oh, wow. It's so delicious. It's just bakery heaven. You got that spiciness from the cinnamon, but not like red hot cinnamon, but like bakery cinnamon. And the coffee and the fried dough. Mmm, so delicious. And that's what that looks like. This hurricane was so, like, it was bad. Like, it even reached us in Philadelphia. <laughs> So we we had places downtown where the expressway um, areas on the expressway were completely flooded. They had to actually close them because you couldn't even drive them. So um, it was a bad one. We usually get like just heavy rains and things like that. But this time we got like severe, severe, severe flooding. Um, so, you know, they're in the process of cleaning out things and everything and hopefully everyone is safe and all, but it was really bad. And <clears throat> the next one I have is Arctic Blast, and it says Icy Peppermint Eucalyptus and Thyme. And I think I have this one. Mm. You get everything. You get the peppermint. You get that eucalyptus. And you also get like that, um, the herby note of the thyme, like the fresh thyme. Oh, this smells so good. This would be great for um, a nighttime blend. This is really good. It's very um, soothing in terms of if you're stuffed up or congested, this would definitely help you with that. Love that. So I got two of those. The rest of the souffles, I got two of each. Then we have Boyfriend, which I do have, and it says Himalayan sea salt, jasmine, bergamot, Siberian forest, and peppermint. And you definitely get hints of jasmine, the bergamot, a little bit of that tree note from this um, Siberian forest. Not getting too much of the peppermint right now, but I'm getting the jasmine, the bergamot, the Siberian forest. I think the other scent, the Arctic Blast, is throwing me off right now because I still got that in my nose. And I definitely get the saltiness of the Himalayan sea salt. Let me see if I can... 
I get slight peppermint right now, but I think it's because the other um, uh, blend is interfering with me right now. But I do like this one, because like I said, I already have this one in my collection, so I bought more because I enjoy it. And then we have ice, uh, Cozy Cabin, which is Icy Peppermint, Crackling Birch, White Birch, and Vanilla. So another outdoorsy tree note with peppermint. Okay, so now I can get the peppermint in this one. Oh, this smells so good. It's um, woodsy, outdoorsy, minty. Mmm. This one smells really good. Perfect uh, winter scent. And that's that one. So that was it, guys, for this haul. Um, I'm not exactly sure when the next uh, restock will be, but um, my advice is to basically just um, join the Facebook group so that you can get all the updates. Also, follow them on Instagram because they also update on Instagram as well, on posts and in their stories. They're pretty good about that um, so that you can get all the details. Um Ignore the wax in the back corner over there. <laughs> um, and so, you know, this way you can find out what's coming, what they have in store. They did just do a live, which I missed, so I have to go back and rewatch it um, on replay. But when they do lives, they usually, you know, give out new information of what's coming and, you know, um, as far as releases and, and the dates and things like that. So definitely check them out. When you get a chance, I will put their information in the down bar below so that you can um, check them out if you want to. So thank you so much if you made it to the end. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell notification so that you're notified when I upload a next my next video. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Take care. Bye.